Hello everyone, welcome to the episode 9 of Presidents the 18 Play Pokemon Gold. I am Steve Harvey and with me I have Barack and Michelle Obama. Thank you, Steve, for having us here. And as you guys know, this is a special episode in our show. Yes, it is, Barack. Today, we will reveal the next party member of this lovely adventure. That's right, Michelle. In the last few episodes, we have been asking you, the viewers, to vote. And you did that. And that is why we have this special episode to announce your choice. But this is also a special episode for another reason. Can you explain why, Michelle? Yes, I can, Steve. For the first time ever, we have a sponsor for this announcement. As you guys know, to make this type of video is expensive, and that is why me and Barack managed a special agreement with a sponsor. That is right, Michelle. This company will only sponsor the part of the episode where the announcement will be made. If there is anyone interested in sponsoring other content, feel free to get in touch with the Obamas. Having that being said, it's time to show the sponsor for this episode. By the way, I know there is a viewer who accepted my invitation to Family Feud. We have to get in contact, brother. Now it's sponsor time. This episode is sponsored by YRB Missiles. Are you American and are bored with nothing to do? Do you need a little adventure in your life? Or do you simply want to raid and destroy a country but don't know which one to choose? Introducing YRB Missiles, the new technology to allow you to raid and bomb any country of your choice. The Y stands for Yemen, which is the best country to bomb. The R stands for regime change so we can put one of your puppets in this world. And the B stands for you to bomb the shit out of this world. Ever since I used YRB missiles and started to bomb the shit out of this world, I sleep easier at night. To bomb the Middle East makes me feel alive. Now I see why George Bush invaded Iraq. I am just the diversity hire here, but I agree with everything on this commercial. Wait, do we bomb people here? Never mind me, I am just here because... So call the number on your screen and start to bomb the shit out of this world. Hello everyone. Welcome to another chapter of our small adventure in Pokemon Gold. Today I will get the sixth gym badge and battle with the Red Gyarados in Lake of Rage. How is everyone doing? I am sad, Barack, because I have just watched episode six and I wanted to see Michelle with the Jinx profile picture. I wanted to, Donald, but Barack did not let me bring it to this episode. Sorry to interrupt brothers and sister Michelle, but let's get straight to the point. Orange brother, what? have you seen episode seven and have you made a decision on what is happening with the old Joe brother? If you call me orange brother again, Steve, I will organize a riot at your house like I did in January 6th. I've seen episode six where you tried to flirt with Jinx over there and now you do that. Sorry to interrupt, but Barack, what was that play? Why did you not use Fire Punch? Donald distracted me when he called you Jinx and I misclicked. Now I see why we are better off alone. Barack, you told me that you would make Rhea shine. Don't you dare to make her faint. Really, Donald? Where is the full support that we should give to each other and blamed me for not giving it to Joe? Guys, please don't start with that. The next gym is Ice and you can take care of it with Rhea. Donald, what was your decision after watching episode seven? My decision, as long as Barack agrees, is to speak with Alex and Snoop on this episode, to make them go away from Joe and to take care of Joe's intervention in the episode where he is playing since he will not be able to go anywhere. And Barack, when will we make the announcement of the next party member? Donald, I agree, and we should speak with Alex and Snoop on this episode. Steve, regarding the announcement, I have an egg that it should be close to hatch in this episode. Oh my God. I think it is an original way to show our beloved viewers what was their decision. Donald, relax. Rhea can shine in the next two gyms. Barack, I talked with Snoop like you asked me, and he is ready to come into the call when you want. Tell him to come. That conversation won't take long. What's up, everyone? Snoop Dogg in the house. How can I- Snoop! If you ever get close to Joe again, I will use the missiles that sponsored the announcement in this episode and bomb the shit out of you and your rap music friends. But Mr. President. Are you really trying to mess with me? No, Mr. President, but. Problem solved. Donald, do you want to talk with Alex now? Did you just bomb Snoop? I said that the conversation wouldn't take long. He wanted to make it longer than it needed to be, so I solved the issue. Any problem with that, Donald? 
Uh, uh, poor orange man, the guy is scared with the Obama way to solve problems, ha 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 ha. He will get used to it, sweetie. By the way, viewers, as you can see, we have the egg with the announcement, and KFC will be our fly slave throughout this adventure. Orange brother, I mean brother Donald, can you tell us what are your Pokemon choices after this one? Donald, somebody home, can you answer Steve? He is still in shock, Michelle. Go ahead and call Alex, maybe I should take care of it too. He must have thought that you were joking when you talked about bombing everyone. I will go and call Alex so we can solve this issue fast. Hello everyone, how can I? Alex, I'm only gonna say this one time. If you ever get close with Joe again, I will bomb you harder than I did to Yemen. Hmm, I am not going to obey a communist president like you. Alex, just do what he is saying, please. I refuse to obey a monkey president like Barack. Joe's stories from the past are making my ex profile to grow every day. So no, I am not going to obey. I warned you, Alex. Editor, put the volume warning again, please. What is happening? Where are the missiles? Do you really think communist missiles can hit on a patriot like me? I built myself an iron dome like Israel has in case this might happen. Fuck you, Barack. Go back to Kenya and don't you ever try to bother me again. Did the conspiracy brother just ruin the sponsored part of the episode? But the missiles, the boom. Barack. Donald, he is in shock because the missiles did not work. Steve, let's take over until Barack recovers. Can you explain why we have a Magby and not Magmar? Of course, Sister Michelle. We thank Live Game 555 for the Magby idea since he is one of these viewers who wants to see more Johto representation on the team. Yes, we love the idea so much that we caught a Magmar and a Ditto just to have this egg. We really appreciate all the ideas that viewers put in our comments. They mean a lot to all of us. And do you guys have any idea regarding the Magmar nickname? I have seen one that I actually like. Well, Donald, we are undecided regarding two options, but you can tell us which one is yours, and maybe we can decide all together. Well, I will go for the idea of the viewer who said that me and Hillary are a power couple. I love the nickname, I just don't agree with the reason. Let's make Magmar great again. Hell no, Donald! We have our ideas and they are way better. Look who is back. Name one nickname better than MAGA. We have an even better idea from a viewer. Micah Stevens 4987 suggested a great pun and honor to a legend with this nickname. Way better than that MAGA idea. Sorry, John Cook, but this one is better. Steve told me you had two options. What is the other one, Barack? Go ahead, Steve, and tell him the other one since that one is your favorite. By the way, viewers' bands should evolve after this battle. Well, I have seen some viewers suggesting this one, and it is also my favorite. I think Boss Doula was the first one to come up with this idea. But Swagmar is such a subtle and yet an amazing nickname. Barack, which one will you choose? Swagmar or Bernie Mac? I think both of them are pretty. Wait a second. What, Donald? Do you think I am going to choose MAGA as a nickname for Magmar? I have an idea, Barack. You have to listen to me. Donald, this is my episode. If that idea is stupid or bad, I am going to keep on kicking you out of this call like you did to Hillary. Guys, chill, please. Let's just watch Ban evolve, and after that, Donald can tell us his idea. That is just a piece of shit that became an even bigger piece of shit. Now that ban evolved, can you tell us what is your idea, Donald? It's simple, Michelle. Since the viewers decided on this party member and suggested some of the nicknames, I believe we should also let the viewers pick one of these nicknames. So you want the viewers to choose between MAGA, Bernie Mac, and Swagmar? One of these nicknames will be for Magmar? That is my idea, Steve. Since none of us agrees on the same nickname, even you and Barack have different ideas, I believe we should let our viewers decide. Simple as that. I actually like the idea, Donald. And Barack, why did you not go for the grassy path and gave money to Team Rocket? Sorry, Michelle, my gameplay today has not been at my best level. That is just another way to say that you did not go to Bulbapedia, Barack. You never change. No, Donald. It's just the fact that you and me don't make a great team. You made Rhea faint last episode, and this one has not been working out for me. 
You made me agree with what you said in episode four. Sure, Barack, I had the poor luck of my Pokemon being asleep for most of the time. You just forgot to use Fire Punch on a Magnemite. You are the stupid one, Barack. Fuck you, Donald. This is my episode and I make the rules. You created the mess that make Joe become a drug addict and never worried to see how he was doing. You talk a lot, but you are a lousy friend. Don't you dare to use Joe to justify the poor gameplay you had today. Even your wife was surprised for what you have done. I just hope you let the viewers decide the nickname of Magmar. Top G Trump out. Did the Orange Brother just left? Yes, Steve. He is a pussy that does not like to hear what is truth. He was the one to split the group. This is all his fault. Barack, I am actually with what Joe said last episode on this one. And what is that, Michelle? That you and Donald said and made things to each other that are not correct. And none of you can admit that, Brother Barack. I got blamed for giving constructive criticism. What the hell is that? And what about episode three? I have seen that episode, Barack, and it is not good for none of you two. Do you want to get bombed too, Steve? I bet you don't have any Iron Dome like Alex Jones. Barack, Steve is just trying to help and being your friend. You don't have to react like that. Like Donald said in episode eight, this is my episode and I make the rules. Brother Barack, if you want me to leave this episode like the Orange Brother did, I will go away. No, Steve. Barack, if you don't stop being unreasonable, you will end this episode alone. Can you just start to think that maybe you are not always right? Even Kim said that you may not be 100% right in what happened. I believe that this is something for Barack to think after this episode. Now tell me, Barack, what do you think of Donald's idea? I hate to admit it, but it is a good idea. I'm going to ask the editor to pin a comment to ask the viewers to vote on their favorite nickname. So the options are MAGA, Bernie Mac, and Swagmar. Right, Barry? Yes, they are, Michelle. And Barack, can the viewers vote on multiple episodes too? Yes, they can, Steve. The viewers can vote in all the episodes and compilations in this channel. Another question, Barack. Will you catch the Red Gyarados to make him an HM slave? No, Steve. I will just one-shot him with Thunder Punch and end the episode. Regarding the HM Slave, we can catch another Pokemon to learn Whirlpool and Waterfall. Barack, since the episode is almost ending, do you want me to take care of the sub begging part? I would love to, Michelle, but I was unfair to Steve when I threatened to bomb him. I am sorry Steve and I believe in you to take care of the sub begging part of this episode. I will do my best, Brother Barack! Dear viewers, thank you for watching this episode so far. If you like this story, give a like, a random comment, and subscribe. Sister Michelle, your turn. We love all your ideas, and if you have any small ideas, comment, and if possible, we will make them come true. Don't be shy. Ah! If you subscribe, I will teach you to make an Iron Dome and to fight these communists like Mankey Barack. What? Help us fight the war against the YouTube algorithm and make this channel the goat that it deserves to be. Yeah!